Hey everybody, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and I figured we'd give the Hammond collection a try. So I picked up Dr. Ian Malcolm today, um, and that's what we'll be reviewing. Um, here's the side look of the Hammond collection box. Here's the front look. It says, Dr. Ian Malcolm. During his visit to Jurassic Park, Dr. Ian Malcolm experiences in chaos theory, your expertise in chaos theory comes to light in a painfully personal way. So let's take him out of the box and see how he holds next to the Amber Collection version. All right, and here is Dr. Ian Malcolm out of the box. And I have to say, a little disappointed. Um, I mean, obviously, I love the Amber Collection so much. I mean, here he is with his Amber Collection counterpart. But I mean, it's not only that, it's just, I don't like it. Um, I mean, this his jacket feels like a vest. He's too tiny to have any good details. I mean, you could take off the glasses, but now it's so tiny, how are you going to put them back on? But, I mean, with that, I mean, it's not very that very much accurate of Jeff Goldblum's face on there. I'm going to try to put these glasses back on. There we go. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, and there's, like... Feels like the flare's too big for his hand. Or too big in general, actually, if you really look at it. And he just feels very flimsy. So like let's do articulation. His head can move up and down. He's got he does have lower torso movement. Um arms can rotate around, up and down, fold. Hands can move as well and rotate. And his legs can move like so and double knee joint which is pretty nice and his feet can move around but yeah there's really I mean not much you can do with this other than like have them displayed with other dinosaurs and stuff which we'll do in a second I'm gonna switch out the arms and take off the jacket but yeah it's just I'm kind of just So here they are, here he is with other dinosaurs, which yeah, that looks cool, but then again, still, it, I feel like the Hammond collection should exclude human characters. Comes in at three and a half inches, but yeah, I mean, it's nice to have one human character just so you can compare them, but I'm honestly thinking unless they make some that aren't part of the Amber collection, then maybe, but I'm probably going to be skipping out on the human characters just because, I mean, they're too tiny. But yeah, so I do give this a 3 out of 10 for this figure. Um, I like the 6 inch Jurassic Park characters, but 3 inch, not so much. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and follow me on all my social media down below. It's that nerd Ryan telling you, have an amazing day. Thank you.